Matt Santelli. Um, I'm a first year student at RPI and this is my first semester at Arcos. I'm really excited. I've learned a lot so far in the first few weeks and I'm really excited. So I'm going to talk about three things today. They're three pretty small in comparison to some of these other projects. Uh, but the first one I want to talk about is passcode. And passcode is actually based off of my friend's uh, passcode generator tool, which takes uh, a domain and a password, like a master password, um, combines them, and returns a string, a 16-character string. And basically, you have uh, the same password for all your sites, but it creates a new one, like a site-specific password for, uh, for I don't know, YouTube and Google. Well, actually, those would be the same. But, but you get the idea. Um, site-specific spe site uh, passcode generation. Um, so right now it's a Safari extension um, using JavaScript, so nothing is sent out of your computer. That's really important. You don't want someone knowing your password and getting access to all your sites. Um, it uses SH SHA-256, and it automatically detects the domain and will output a password. So it's kind of hard to explain without just showing you, so I'll show you real quick. So I'm on Twitter. Um, Here's the. Um, it's mirrored. <laughs> All right. Okay. So here's the um, the preference pane, and you can set a master password, and then you can what check. Is your master password? <laughs> <laughs> um. So nobody could see that, hopefully. Um, and then you could click to automatically find domain. I'll turn that off for now and show you again when it's on. Um, so my click, zoom out a little bit. Uh, when I click on my extension, it brings up the domain. It automatically finds it and will uh, highlight it for you, so you could change it if you want. Uh, in this case, it is Twitter, so I'll click OK. And there's my passcode. I just copy and uh, paste it in. <laughs> and there's Twitter. But um, but you could auto automatically find a man and assume that's correct. So if I log out, it's a really small <laughs> screen. Okay, well I'll click on the passcode and it, it works. So I could just copy and paste that in. Um, so what will I be implementing the rest of the semester? Hopefully, working on a new interface so it doesn't have to use those JavaScript pop-ups, I don't really like them. And hopefully it'll automatically fill in the password field for you so you don't have to copy and paste every time. Um, something to check for updates and hopefully support more browsers. Although you all should be using Safari anyways. <laughs> um, so, my second project. Uh, so, I have a question. How, how are you storing the passwords for passcode? Um, are you using the, the, the database? The, the master password? No, just the, the, even, even the individual passwords for that website. It generates it every time. But it will generate the same password. Um, yeah, basically it takes the domain and your master password and oh, okay. puts them together. But since the domain is always changing, you know it's going to be a unique password for your site. And that way if someone was to uh, come across your password, which would be just random letters and numbers, they couldn't figure out what your master password was. Yeah. So what schema are you using to make sure that happens? Because, for instance, Twitter is a pretty easy to guess domain for Twitter. So, when you yeah, guess, but like, how hard would it be to try and reconstruct your master password based on a guess at the domain and the other thing? Two to the 60th or so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be more than that because it generates a string that's longer than 16 characters, like I think it's 64, and then crops it to 16. So half of that is just gone. And that's way too many bits of entropy for you to crack in the lifetime of the universe. Uh, yeah. Well, no. <laughs> since, since <laughs> that's that's right Twitter, though. Is it SHA-1 or 2 of 56 or something? What was that? What like version of SHA are you using? I could check and get back to you. Um, I don't actually know. It's my friend's tool we've kind of been working together. I've just been doing the yeah, extension part of it. 256. 256. That's it? Like the, that's what it's called? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't really know too much. I'm, I'm learning these things, and hopefully you guys can teach me. Um, so my second project is blog.txt, and this I just started, uh, as soon as I started Narcos, I realized you have to make a blog, and I've never made a blog before, I tried 
using blogging services, but I wanted it on my own demand. It wasn't really anything that suited my needs. Um, so I wanted to write my own. And don't use a database, just really super easy and lightweight. Um, so it's hopefully the simplest blogging tool. Uh, right now it has a pretty simple installation. I'll make it simpler. It's just a few files. Um, it'll be really easy to post. Automatically uh, put some on new pages and syntax highlighting. Um, right now it uses <laughs> syntax highlighter, which is JavaScript, but maybe I'll use some other solution uh, that you guys make. <laughs> so I'll show you a demo of that as well. So here is my site. It's called blog.txt. And these are actually all generated from text files. This screen is really small. But um, so say I have a new text file um, in text edit, I save it. It's on my desktop. <laughs> uh, hopefully this works. I could drag it in. If it works. And there's my new post. So automatically just made a new post for me. Um, but eventually I'll have it so that you can just, while you're logged in, Select text, delete it, insert new text, and um, yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, yeah, so what you see is what you get editing. Even simpler installation, hopefully it'll just be one file that will set up everything for you. Um, RSS feeds, and hopefully more customization so not everybody's blog looks so, uh, so much like mine. <laughs> Uh, my third project is cloud. I've started a little bit on it. Um, not sure if I really want to demo it because it's a little iffy. Um, basically, it's a custom file file uploader and URL shortener. It's kind of blog.txt is kind of teaching me more to hopefully build this project. Um, and it kind of has uh, similar ideas. I wanted to put on your own server. You could upload images, URL shortening, so you don't have to use a third party service. I think it's kind of cool. So right now I have it that's password protected. Images do upload, but anybody could just view them. I don't really, I'm not sure about that. It's all drag and drop, and has some pretty cool animations because I've been fiddling around with jQuery. That actually kind of inspired the whole project anyways. Um, I wanted to make it even simpler because it does use a SQL database. Um, so I want that to be easier to install because about three years ago I tried to install a similar tool um, and I couldn't figure it out. This was before I knew anything about the internet, really. <laughs> so I want I to uh, make this for them, so it's just so easy for them. <clears throat> so I want more customization, you're all shortening, and better management so you could view file or images, these images and preview stuff. And uh, that's it. So I want to thank everyone, Morthy, Sean O'Sullivan, everybody at Arcos. I look forward to, to working with you guys. So you don't want to demo the last one, it's okay. <laughs> sure, I'll, I can show it. Yeah. Please don't go and uh, try to break this. <laughs> no, this is not my server. Um, so I'll show you, as if uh, you typed in the wrong password. I have this like little shake animation. <laughs> Took me a while to <laughs> figure that out. If you hopefully log in, um, this is what it looks like. It lists all the files. Um, right now, there's only two images on this entire site. Everything else is CSS3. Um, so I want to make it completely no images, all CSS. Um, highlights things. Shows you the size as well as when you upload it. It's a little hard to see on there. And you could actually just drag onto the cloud your, your images. Oh, that's weird. But it just uploads them for you. So that's what I ever know. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually just uh, in here. Thinks the window is larger than it is. When it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'd upload that and, uh, and email that to them. <laughs> well, thank you. Anyways, any questions? Questions. So, uh, first, first suggestion for cloud: uh, if you want to have a SQL relational database without having to set something up and install it through SQLite, if you've never heard of it, it's kind of like an embedded SQL database uh, that runs out of just a file. Uh, so, 
the other thing about cloud is uh, there's a very similar project called Own Cloud. Uh, it's open source. Check that out. I think it, it's doing a lot of what you want to do. It doesn't have the URL shortener, but it's for uploading your file. It uses uh, web dev. You can do it in your browser. It also streams music and things like that. So check that out. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm not. It's not an open source project, but you might get some inspiration from the One Password project, which has a lot of um, browser add-ins. Yeah. Because um, that it'll implement um, your password as soon as you click on your password, it fills in the forms and submits it. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they do it, but I'm going to try to emulate something like that. Yeah. Uh, this might be kind of cool Do you have any uh, support for any uh, like browsers or OSs that aren't going to be used? Because a lot of those cases are really cool. What? And you did a lot of, a lot of cool like, drag and drop things, so I was wondering if you had support for other uh, um, it works on WebKit, and um, most of it, the CSS3 is a little weird on Firefox, and IE8 makes it look like it's like Minecraft, everything like rounded is all like, it's pretty interesting. Um, so, but it works though, so you might not get all the features, but at least all the functionality will.